Hey everybody out there, you're tuned in to 91.8 The Fan, and you can hear a little bit of ringing on my special guest's end, but would you like to unveil your secret identity to the masses? <laughs> uh, my name is Chase Wang, and I am the uh, PR rep for this uh, summer's upcoming event, AM Squared, uh, held June 15th to the 17th at the Anaheim Convention Center in Anaheim Hilton. And it's very exciting to talk to you again. As I said, a little bit behind the scenes, the last time we got to talk was the very tail end of AM Squared. Actually, I think it was just the scandal uh, meet and greet is, is what it was. Uh -huh. But right. um, bef before we get into, into this year, let's talk a little bit about last year. Leaving last year, how did you feel? Um, you know, I think you know, there was a lot of mixed emotions for a lot of people, uh, both for us as well as for our volunteers and attendees. Um, you know, it was kind of like, you know, it was the year that we proved ourselves. And, you know, even though there were so much, um, you know, things that were said uh, that weren't too kind um, and things that were taken out of context, to have 11,000 unique attendees attend our event was quite thrilling, and um, I was very grateful for that. Um, I was really, you know, just expecting at the most 4,000. I would have been happy with that, but to have 11,000 show up was just phenomenal. And, you know, and so, you know, I think if anything, hopefully this year will be even better. We have a, a stronger list of guests that are coming soon, and we also have a humongous program um, that is very unique and very original um, that people can enjoy. Um, that I feel like, you know, it, it's worth it for them to come out. And once again, we're still keeping our, our events. A lot of things are still free to attend, like the exhibit hall um, and many of our other um, events, such as some of our panels and workshops. But they can also go and participate in some of our other events that are like these major screenings that aren't seen anywhere else. I believe we have Ace Attorney, um, Phoenix to Wright, live action film. We have Kaibutsu Kun. Uh, the U.S. premiere for that, as well as Kaiji 2. Um, so there's something for everyone at AM Squared this year, and I hope people, you know, come out and join us, um, obtain a passport and get in front of the lines and come to our special meet and greet that are for our passport only and hotel uh, room block attendee preferred uh, guests this year. Now, for the listeners out there who don't know how the passport system works, could you explain a little bit about that for those listeners? Oh, most definitely. Um, the passport is basically kind of like a fast pass um, for our attendees to get in front of the lines um, and to be able to obtain the best seats of the house uh, for many of our events, such as our concerts, our panels, uh, our workshops. And we also have special meet and greets with our guests of honors um, with the fast pass um, and as well as people who are within our hotel room block. They are able to have a more intimate meet and greet and one-on-one -on -one type of situation, not per se one person to the, the, the guest, let me rephrase that, like a group, a smaller, more intimate group interaction with our guests, um, exclusively only for hotel room, room block attendees as well as our three-day passport holders, um, and then also our, pass, our regular one-day and two-day passport holders uh, consecutively. So, you know, if people really want to see that guest, you know, come and get a passport. And, you know, even for the premieres, um, many of our premieres are you know, open to our passport holders first. And they can go in and obtain the best seats. And then if there's any seats left, uh, the general audience is allowed in after, thereafter. Well, I will say with the meet and greets, because I got a chance to, I only got a chance to go to one last year, mm -hmm. but it was so nice because I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan. So I got to sit down with Miho Shimagasa and Akihiko Yamashita. And that was really fun because we got to talk about like characterization and the dub in America, which they, they didn't know about really. So it was, it was a moment I wouldn't really get to have, whether as a right. fan or even as press, because those aren't questions that I would ask in an interview. So it, it felt really closed in, and I just really like that. Right, and you know, the, the thing that we want for our, our attendees, especially our passport holders and room boss attendees, that we want them to feel special. We want them to know that we appreciate the fact that they are supporting our event because without their support, we can't do, we can't put on a show. And the more support we have, the better the show can be. So, you know, we can do as much as we can 
Um, but with limited resources, we can only do so much. So the more support we have, the bigger the show we can do. And I hope that people realize that, you know, we're here to give them an opportunity to uh, have an experience that is very unique, um, much more intimate, whereas, you know, at other shows they may be a little bit more, um, I guess, lost in the crowd per se or, or – you know, it's not as affordable. I mean, for a four-day, I'm sorry, for a three-day passport, it's under 50 bucks from what I understand, or around 50 bucks, which is unheard of for a lot of events, um, especially with the caliber of guests that we're bringing in as well as the caliber of programming that we have at Amsterdam this year. Well, now, how has the reaction been this year since you guys proved yourself in the first year? You know, I think definitely we have grown tremendously our our um, our exhibit hall has increased um, a lot in size. Um, our artist alley has exploded. We have over, I would say, almost over 150 artists coming to Ames Square to our artist alley. Um, our attendance rate, from the last I heard, it was 30 times higher than where we were at the previous year. Oh, so, congratulations! Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thank you, and I think it's fantastic, and I think people realize that we are you know, a really good show. We really want our fans to have a good experience and we do everything that we can for our fans um, so that people understand it's a fan running event. I mean, we want people to have fun. And that's the key thing. Even our volunteers, you know, I actually had a conversation with, with my team and I was kind of like saying to them, oh, you know, why, why would someone want to volunteer for us if, you know, we're not giving them fun? I mean, and that's one of our requirements is that our volunteers have time to go out and have some fun. You know, we provide food and, and, and lodging when we can, and if it makes sense. You know, um, I'm, I know I'm using the word you know a lot. I don't know why today. I usually don't, or do I? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but forgive me if I do use it quite a bit. Uh, being from Hawaii and living in the Valley, I guess that does affect me. Um, but there is so much fun for everyone, and we want to really assure people that the fun will continue as long as we have that support. And, you know, we appreciate all the support that people give us, both from the press side, the attendee side, the exhibitor side, all our sponsors, um, all our media partners, all of that. That's just, it's just great for people to realize that, you know, we are an event that's fan-driven, fan-run, and that we aren't a, a for-profit company to try to make X amount of dollars off of fandom, you know? No, I, I completely understand where you're coming from. Now, one thing I, I do have to ask, because it was something that really made you guys unique last year, is about the Summer Festival. What do you guys have planned this year? My goodness, it's going to be amazing this year. Our Summer Festival stage has not only talent from the United States, but we also have talent from Japan performing. And I know that some people are very, very excited about Lucid, and we just today announced um, a vocal performer who's uh, coming to the stage as well, but we have all the games um, that people can enjoy. I think last year a lot of people enjoyed that, that concept, so we're going to have more games and more prizing. Uh, it, it's kind of like this amazing situation where I didn't know that there were that many people that would want to play all these games, and apparently it's very popular. It was, it was a very pleasant surprise, and I'm glad that people enjoyed it. So we want to continue that and expand upon it so people have more fun as time goes by. I was kind of surprised myself how much time I spent getting tickets because some of the games were really simple, but um, I used to live in Laughlin here in, here in Nevada, and, like, we uh -huh. used to have fairs, but, like, we don't really have that in Las Vegas. We have more, like, get-togethers, so it was just kind of nice to see something that was kind of like that and more, I guess, nostalgic for me. Right. Well, you know, we do have a long-term plan for everything, and... Um, as we grow and as we get more financial support from industry companies and sponsors and, and our TV base grows for passports, we definitely want to expand upon all that we have. Um, as I said, the more support we get, the bigger our program can be. You know, uh, I, I really feel one day maybe we can have possibly carnival rides um, and other things that would expand the fun for our attendees and, and let them have as much fun as possible and in a, in a safe environment. You know, uh, being at Anaheim is ideal for us because it's on a campus and we don't have any other events happening um, in that time frame that would kind of overwhelm our attendees in any sense. 
and that they can have a fun time cosplay and enjoying companies of, of making new friends, um, seeing old friends, um, and just just making, having a great experience for the summer, having a highlight, basically, for their summer experience. Well, I will say with Anaheim, California sometimes kind of scares me, and I can't remember the last time I was in Anaheim, maybe when I was in 11, and I was really surprised how, like, safe it was, you know? I, I didn't have to right. worry about walking in at night or anything like that, and Disneyland is right there. That's the happiest place on Earth. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, we have, we have so much great partnerships going on in Southern California, especially in the Orange County area. Like, you know, just by buying a passport, you can get all these amazing discounts, especially like at Disneyland. I think it's about 40% off, 40 to 60% off, depending on what day you go. And on the very first day in the evening, um, you get this huge discount to experience the grand opening of Cars Land for that day. Our opening date is a date for Cars Land. So, you know, the passport purchase uh, basically pays for itself with the savings that you have from all the eateries, the restaurants, the retail stores, the theme parks. Um, I think even uh, from what I remember, I could be wrong, but I do feel that we do have a huge discount for something like Medieval Times. It's like a buy one, get one free thing. And um, that alone saves someone 40 bucks right there. It's like basically almost a full passport. Uh, so I, I encourage people, if anything, get a passport, support us. Have a great time. Have a great time enjoying all the discounts at eateries and restaurants and um, retail outlets and theme parks while you're down and, and have a great vacation. Well, what's nice about a passport that gives you discounts to restaurants is that, you know, you won't be one of those con attendees that's like starving themselves on Pocky and, and Ramune and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. But, you know, the, the amazing thing about um, the Hilton is that there's a whole bunch of you know, kind of like fast food eateries downstairs, like the Baja Fresh, and those are a little bit more on the healthier side. But um, there's also, if you want upscale dining, there's discounts at Arnie Morton's, and um, I believe at uh, um, there's a there's a very uh, Buca de Beppo, um, a whole bunch of restaurants as well, Tony Roma's. So people can really enjoy themselves while they're out here. Um, I hope people enjoy it. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, it's kind of like, why are we doing it? <laughs> you know, but I do believe that people, I mean, there's, there's discounts on, on, on foods on the lower end as well as discounts on foods on the higher end. So there's something for everyone, something for every budget. Uh, and I really, really invite people to come and enjoy us and enjoy everything and join us for the fun. Definitely. And for the fans out there, we're going to take a short break here on 91.8 The Fan. But while we're taking a break, why don't you guys check out those discounts on AM Squared's website? Just saying. You should do that. Keep it tuned to 91.8 The Fan. Everything you want and nothing you don't. So you guys should like totally check out my radio station. It's like over 9,000 and it has, has, it has cheeseburgers and... And all your base, all your base will belong to us. It's, it's the best thing. Wrong! Are you tired of epic fail when it comes to memes? At 91.8 The Fan, we got you covered. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! Well, at least I have chicken. Hey everybody out there, you're tuned in to 91.8 The Fan. You're still in my corner and I'm pretty sure my special guest is still alive. Are you alive? Definitely live and kicking. Okay, good. That, that would be bad. I come back on air and, and you hear nothing. You just hear a beep, beep, beep. What did you do to the guest? Nothing. All right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I was stabbed by the horn of a unicorn from My Little Pony. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> oh. Hello? <laughs> I'm like, that scared me. I mean, oh, they, they can be brutal. As well. All right. <laughs> he was actually pilot. stabbed with a unicorn horn. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Since, since, before we get too off topic, actually, that's a good segue mm -hmm. into, the, uh, into the guests you have this year. Can you tell us who's attending this year? Oh, most definitely. We have uh, Kao Moro-san, who is from Bone Studio um, in Japan, and he's worked on amazing kind of like Cowboy Bebop, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, a whole bunch of stuff. We also have um, Andrea Lippman, who's the voice actress for Not Just My Little Pony, but she was in Studio Ghibli titles such as Spirit of the Way. Uh, she was also the voice of Bulma for Dragon Ball Z. Uh, so she's done quite a bit of, of animes as well. 
Uh, we also have Clayton Flynn, who's a huge voice actor. Um, he's done Final Fantasy voices uh, for video games, and um, he's also coming. Um, we also have fashion guests that we've announced, uh, including Six, who is debuting his fashion rock opera uh, at the concert at our event, as well as uh, the designers from Futumayo, um, which is having their first debut in the United States with us. Uh, we also have some more guests that we're going to be announcing soon. Um, and I hope people, you know, enjoy all our announcements for all our guests. Well, now, where can we keep up to date on when you guys are going to announce more events or more guests? Well, definitely they can get information from our, directly from our website at www.am2con.org. Um, and there, there's also links to our Twitter, Facebook, even our pages and stuff like that. So, you know, if they want up-to-date information, just go onto the website and, and join the Twitter and, um, and the Facebook page, and they will get up-to-date information. Um, there's tons of fun stuff that, that, that people can find out more information just from the website itself, uh, including our exhibitor list, our artist alley list. Um, we'll be announcing our programming schedules, our tentative programming schedules and screening schedules, as well as uh, our guest of honor schedules, uh, I believe within the next five days, I want to say, five business days or something. So, you know, look out for that because then you can plan what days you want to come see the premieres and you know, we're, um, we're partnering up with Annie.me uh, at the convention. So, you know, we're trying to be green and, and be good for the environment. So they will bring back uh, the uh, digital version of our, of our schedules. Uh, so that will be accessible to anybody from, um, from signing up with uh, the free uh, group uh, application of Annie.me. Uh, .net, and uh, that's pretty much it for now, right? I'm pretty sure that uh, that's about it. I do know on Facebook you guys said that there was going to be another announcement on Friday, which is nice because you just yes. had one today. <laughs> um, well, well the, the announcement we had today, I mean, I, I tend to try to pace things out a little bit more because I, I don't really want people to be bombarded with, with so much at once that it's hard to digest. But definitely um, we will be announcing a guest on Friday. Um, whether people like the guests or not, I hope they enjoy it, you know, more so. Uh, but we still have more guests that we're announcing. Uh, we're just in the finalization, the finalizing stuff. And I think people, you know, probably are wondering why things are taking long and, and all that. But people have to understand in Japan right now, you know, they're trying to rebuild the country after last year. You don't rebuild overnight, and it takes years. And, and some people are, have been affected by the recent earthquakes and, and all that. So... We do have to respect that and, you know, give it some time so people can make their decisions and finalize the plans to come out uh, from Japan. So I hope people enjoy our announcement. Well, I definitely can't wait to hear what you guys have uh, coming down the pipeline, especially considering it's, it's only in a little bit over a month. So, yay. True, and, you know, we'll ha hopefully, you know, I, I, I will give you, I'll give you an exclusive uh, just for your show that, you know, I'm working on bringing a mangaka out Ooh. to AM Squared. So, you know, all those nasty buffs and manga buffs, you know, I think we'll be one of the only people, or not only people, we'll be one of the only groups to have a pretty strong manga come out to our event. Well, that'll be very exciting. Thank you for that nice little exclusive. We love exclusives. I know. Yeah. It, it's, so, it's so difficult to get, like, manga because of their crazy schedule. But hopefully we're about 90% there. Just hopefully the ten percent will, will will close soon. <laughs> Don't worry. All you got to do is go to Japan, put a blindfold on him, put him on an airplane, and then give him a coffee. He'll be good to go for the weekend. Oh my God! If it <laughs> only was that simple, right? I if wish. it was only yeah. that simple. <laughs> <laughs> but thank yeah. you. So, but uh -huh. thank you so much for 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 talking with us. Is there anything else that you wanted to tell the listeners out there? Well, you know, I, I really hope that they will join us this year. Buy a passport, of course. You know, I always have to pitch that. Check out our, our, our offerings of, of our convention. You'll see that there's so much fun there. We have, you know, the convention rush game, which is kind of like, like a live action Monopoly game with our events. Our passports, our 3 passports are really, really cool. They're like a keepsake. Um, last year we had an American design passport. This year we have a limited edition Japan design um, or Japan inspired 
themed passports. Uh, and if they go onto our Facebook page and even our website at www.am2con.org, they'll see the cover. Um, and inside, those, there's tons of cool stuff. There's an autograph section. There's a stamp section for our AM Squared stamp. There's information. Um, there's tons of fun in it. And, you know, um, there's a whole section where you can actually go to our Pure Cure machines, take pictures, and put it in as, as, your, as your commemorative passport picture, and like, you know, in a regular passport. So hopefully people will, will enjoy all the fun stuff that we're trying to bring to them. This is going to seem really lame, but those picture machines were awesome. I have never seen one of those before. I saw them last year for the first time. <laughs> really? Those are so fun. I mean, I've, I've actually tried a couple of them, but, you know, you know, the, the dead don't come out on picture, right? You know, so, you know, <laughs> my lame attempt at a, at a, at a, at a half-dead zombie joke, I don't think people will appreciate it, but ha-ha. You know, lame attempt. <laughs> you got a joke. Be merry. Be happy. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you so much for this opportunity for, um, for, for this interview so that we can share, you know, our, our items for AIM Square to your audience. So thank you so much. And I hope your, your listeners come and join us this year. Come have fun. Join us. Um, get, your, get into the hotel room block. I believe um, the deadline is uh, on the 12th of this month. And uh, we do have a, a price guarantee in which if they go on to kayak or anything like that and they find the lowest price there, as long as they have a passport as well, um, they will still be considered as part of our room blocks. Um, so they don't necessarily have to just pay the, the full purchase price that's listed on our site. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being an incredible guest. Always nice to talk to you again. And for awesome. anybody out there that missed any of this interview, don't fret. It'll be up on the website within the next few days. So keep your eyes peeled to 918thefan.com and your ears tuned to 91.8 The Fan. Everything you want and nothing you don't. <laughs>